Peyton, I guess when you kind of look back on, on Saturday, does it does it kind of feel like same song, different verse, where it's just a couple of plays here or there? Yeah, it is. You know, it's a couple of plays, like you said, uh, over the course of a game that obviously you wish you could have back and uh, wish we could capitalize on. Um, but yeah, ultimately, uh, we're able to put four quarters together and uh, finish the game off and uh, do what we need to do to win. I had a couple of players talk about it, whether it was Robert's text or other players going, hey, how how nice is it to see guys going, hey, instead of pointing fingers, they're going, look, I could have done this, I could have done this, and kind of taking that responsibility. Does that make it a healthy, even though it's two and five, but there's not a whole lot of fighting going on, you guys are all pulling in the same direction? Uh, yeah, I'm not necessarily aware of uh, any text or anything like that, but I know we have guys that um, have accountability. And, um, you know, we've talked about that, you know, each and every position group, each and every player, over the course of the season has had something where you didn't do what you're supposed to do. You know, that's just football. And so um, whether you made a mental mistake or a physical mistake, those are going to happen. And so uh, you got to do your best to limit those, obviously, and put together the best game that you can. But each and every guy is going to have that, you know. And so, uh, like I said, that's, the, that's this game. No one's going to play a perfect game. And so uh, we understand that as teammates, and uh, we understand that this is the ultimate team game. And so. Uh, it's easy sometimes to put the blame on one guy on one play or, you know, when you're looking at it and go, man, what, you know, what was that? But there's so many things that go into it and, um, and that's every position. And so um, it's tough and it stinks, but, you know, I think we've got a group of good guys and uh, guys aren't going to give up and they're going to keep fighting. Coach Free said yesterday that it feels like, you know, maybe y'all are playing and you know, coaching a little bit not to lose at times sometimes in these, you know, some of these close games. Do you feel like that kind of that next step to, you know, win some of those close games is more of a mental thing than anything else? Um, I'm not sure. You know, I know uh, as far as me and my mindset, uh, you know, we were up at that point. I was still thinking full throttle, like, let's go score again. You know, let's not pull anything back. And, um, just go out there and play, you know, not, not worry about uh, anything different than what I would in, you know, the first, second quarter. Obviously, situationally, when you get really close to the end of the game, that, that changes. But for me, and when we had the ball, I was thinking just play normal football, get a first down, get us in the field goal range at least uh, in that fourth quarter. And, you know, we weren't able to do that, unfortunately. And so, um, you know, that is something that we have to be better at. How much of a uh... – I mean, there's always a learning process, but both Georgia and Missouri have shown some different things to you guys and a lot of the shifting up front and all those things. How, how much does that prepare you knowing that, hey, you're probably going to start seeing even more of that moving forward? Yeah, for sure. You know, like you said, Missouri uh, did a little bit more, um, you know, shifting back and forth uh, pre-snap, kind of like Georgia did. And, you know, that's, you know we're going to expect to see that, you know, more and more because I think uh, Georgia did a decent job with it and, and had us um, – you know, having to communicate a decent amount. And, um, you know, I guess we will expect to see that this week and something that you prepare every season if, if you show that uh, you may struggle with something a little bit. And I don't know 100% if we have been completely struggling with that. You know, that's just... Uh, you just see it a lot. Ha yeah, I have noticed it. And so it might be a thing that uh, defenses or teams across the, the league are, have communicated with each other because everybody talks. And so... I'm not sure, but, you know, it's something that I know that Coach Thornton works on with the guys and, uh, you know, we work on uh, identifying when things change and protection has to change. So um, if it is something that we see more of, then, uh, you know, we'll be prepared for it. You and Connor have to spend a lot of time kind of diagnosing things and, and making sure your communications on for things like that. Yeah, you know, we don't have to do too terribly much. Uh, Connor's a really smart guy, so it's easy to play with him. And, yeah. uh, you know, he'll take care of some things sometimes if the play clock's really running down or – um, if it's just a early shift, you know, sometimes I don't even have to say anything because I know he's going to take care of it, no problem. Uh, I'll usually say it to just clarify it and make sure that we're on the same page. But, um, you know, we also signal stuff. So if I see the signal, I don't need to, you know, bark it out, especially on the road. Uh, you do your best not to step up in the line of scrimmage. You want to stay back there and be ready to, to receive the snap and keep the defense on their toes. But, um, but yeah, he, he's a great guy to play with. He's a smart guy and uh, he's a competitor. So, uh, it's nice having him at center. Kentucky's been one of the best defenses in the SEC this season. <clears throat> you know, what have you seen from them on film? Yeah, first and foremost, you know, you start up front with them, and uh, they got great size and athleticism up front. Their two D tackles are are very large humans and uh, not not easy to move, and that's just uh, you know the honest report on them. Obviously, they're really good players up there, and their two D ends are, are really good players too. Do a good job rushing the passer. 
good job in the run game. Uh, their backers have played a lot of football too. Really, their whole defense has, has been together. It seems like a while, and uh, played a lot of games. So. Um, their front seven are really talented, and then their DBs are talented as well, and they're really long. Uh, you know, I think both their corners are 6'3", uh, both their safeties are good size too, and, and they've done a good job this year. And so um, it's a good challenge for us. You know, uh, we got to put a good week together at practice, uh, make sure we know the game plan in and out, and uh, just go out there and make plays um, on Saturday. It's about as close to home as you've been in a while. Is it exciting to kind of get closer to home and play a game? Uh, I guess, you know, it's the conference game. It's not, not too terribly close. I feel like Missouri's more the Midwest than Kentucky is. So uh, uh, we were talking about that last week, but um, I'm not sure. I haven't checked the temperature yet. Maybe it'll feel a little bit more like Midwest temperature. I'm not sure.